What's up, everybody? This is Jay again. Welcome to another edition of Jay's Monday Reviews, brought to you by Sam Res Hurt Me Nots. That's Sam Res Hurt Me Nots, where you know we care about your pain. Yes, Thor, say hello. Say hello. There we go. There we go. So today, I was was going to do it on a few different things, and actually, uh, the wife was is wearing her new boots, which I was going to do a review on with her. However, she's wearing them, and she's at work. She does like them, but we'll do the full review on, the, on them later. They are Columbia winter boots, and they are pretty awesome. Um, so today, we're going to do a review on a gift that I got from my daughter, and then another gift that I got for my daughter over the Yule season. So first we have this thing here. I will be doing my videos with this little contraption here very soon. Instead of just setting my phone up like I do. Or I don't want to blind you. But you see it's got this uh, really cool light. If it's shining on me, look at that. Yeah. Gets me. See how beautiful I am? Uh, however, it does blind me if I don't put it at the right angle. So I have to care for what I'm looking at. Um, it's got where I can put my phone. Set my phone up here. You think, see it's on a swivel. Everything's got a little tightener. It's got a little microphone set up. She got me a thing where I can clip a microphone here. And if I decide to interview somebody, I can. it's got a second microphone to pick but pick up what they do. Um, the only... I, I don't know what I did with the box to this thing. I'm sure I threw it away. The uh, Dream Grip is what the brand on this little phone holder says. I don't know if the whole thing is um, Dream Grip or if it's all uh, separate different things, but let me tell you, it's got it's got a little tripod. I'd say everything's on a, it's got its own little tightener thing there. And so it's got a little tripod. The phone, my phone fits right in here. It's got the light for it, it's got the microphone. Um, it's got it set to where you can move depending on how you want to put your phone. You untighten this here. And then you can see you can put this up so that your light and your microphone are on top. And your phone can be laying down inside here. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. I, like I said, I've only used it a few times so far. Um, and so I'm still getting used to the setup and how everything looks. And I'm pretty new at this whole video thing anyways. And so everything is... Um, kind of new to me on it and so uh slowly but surely i will start doing my videos with this um like i said i i like it a lot so far from what i've used it used it for uh, <coughs> excuse me definitely two thumbs up uh as a two thumbs up to l horn here for my awesome coffee mug ah best coffee mug i've ever had hands down and just so you guys know i don't get paid by elhorn or live bearded when i mention them i don't get paid for any of the reviews i do i don't have anybody getting i don't get paid for any of my videos or anything like that i do this strictly so that you guys can see my experience and hopefully learn from the videos that i put out right our second item up for review today and now we are so you cannot see this very well so Hang on one second. Let me set up this light over here. We'll put it behind here. Just set us up right here. Behind the current setup. Change that. Turn that light on. Let's see how that works now. Okay. Uh, now can we see them? Yes, although my video is backwards, isn't it? Okay, so we have a set of Harry Potter books that I bought from Amazon.com. I will be returning them. This is supposed to be a full set. Uh, however, the as you can see, these two, number one is not number one. They are both number two. Um, and then upon further review. Now, when I'm buying something, especially on Amazon or anywhere online, I, uh, I do... Um, I read through all the reviews that I can. I, I mean, sometimes it's too many, but I read through enough of them to where I can actually understand what's going on and whether people are liking it for the reasons they do or don't. I made the mistake of thinking that it's books. I mean, what? It, it's a set of books. How can you mess that up, right? So I did not read the reviews. I just got the set of books that I knew my daughter wanted and thought, oh, this is perfect. 
and went ahead and ordered it. After we get it and see that it's got two number twos in it, um, my other daughter says, no, Dad, you got to read the reviews for everything. Look, and she starts reading the reviews for this place. Um, and a lot of them talk about how one book is half a book and then it's the second half of that book is actually a part in the other books put together in the wrong book. Um, and so I will just say, look, guys, read your reviews on everything. There's another set of these Harry Potter books in there. Um, actually, with that all got really good reviews. And so I'll go back on and I'll reorder those after I return these. Or, uh, you know, whatever order it works out in. But, yeah, read the reviews, guys. Especially if you're ordering online. It's hard to tell. Like, every company wants to sell their products, right? And so, um, and, and being a small business, I will tell you, we put the best out of everything that we can, right? And we want you to see our products as something that's great. Unfortunately, not everybody is down to down to earth when it comes to their business. Not everybody is honest. Um, like when it comes to our pain rub, I would tell you, talk to some people that have used it. If you have any kinds of doubt, you know. Um, and that's a look at the reviews on our websites. There's look at the um, don't don't just take my my word. For something without branching out the best that you can and granted we're a smaller business we only have a limited amount of reviews and uh unless you are local with us then you may not know somebody that uses the pain rub and so it's you know it's hit and miss like that but so is everything you do online right so read the reviews i messed up by by assuming that oh it's just a book uh, or a set of books how can they mess that up well uh it's pretty horrible. Um, and so, the, obviously, the, the seller that is selling these ones, I'm not sure what happened or what's going on. I I, it, I, I really don't know. There was some talk of or some comments about pirate, Amazon having pirated authors or books or something, which I don't really understand that quite so much, but maybe whatever, you know. I just ended up going to the wrong seller for this set of books. I should have read the reviews on it. And for everything, I always think for the big things, something I'm spending a lot of money on, um, but technically, everything that we're buying online, we should be reading those reviews and weeding out the ones that are from the company, weeding out the ones uh, that are robots or whatever the hell they got going on, the al algorithms and however all that stuff works, you know. Uh, you can pretty much tell, um, for the most part, when it's a real person talking, um, cause they seem to say different things, different, uh, hint words that are not just automatic that let you know they're an actual somebody and not just, um, somebody behind a desk putting in good reviews so that there's good reviews put in for the product. Anyways, everybody, this is long enough. I hope you guys are all having the best of days. Uh, soon I've got this snack back, snack pack box that my daughter gave me. I'm going to do a review on, but I'm going to make one of them eat, eat some of the stuff with me, taste it all. Um, cause they're always a lot funner than I am when it comes to our taste testing. And so we'll put that one on probably this week. I won't wait for Monday on that one. And then, uh, we got the boots coming. I promised you guys, uh, a review on my new phone, which I'm still working on. I have not, as you can see, I'm using my old phone, um, because I still have not got this one figured out completely. I'm getting there on it. Um, I still haven't been able to open up my messenger bubbles on it. Or, like, put them on the, my screen when they to pop up when I get a message. And I'm having trouble moving stuff to my home screen. So, the review will come on that later. But I will say that I like the phone. And it's definitely not the phone's fault that I can't figure out the technology part of things. Uh, you know, that's... The, <laughs> so, yeah. The review on the phone will come soon. Uh, and the boots, the Columbia boots, I'll probably do an extra review for you instead of waiting till Monday. We'll see. Maybe I'll do that in a snack pack together. Anyways, everybody, have the best of days, and as always, stay safe, stay sane, stay happy, stay healthy, and if you haven't subscribed, you should. I've got all kinds of feel-good stuff coming on this channel. You can check me out on TikTok if you want funny and feel-good. Um, you can check me out on uh, Instagram if you want inspirational, feel-good, sometimes funny. Have the best of days, everyone. I love you all.